for some reason. That'll come into play later. Mark my words. Can't go out there. Alright, well. The only thing I haven't checked is this one. Collector coins. I keep finding coins. It's a beautiful weapon. A Levy Damask Blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Okay, so Napoleon is immune to conviction. I don't know what that means, but he's immune to it. We'll figure that out later. Hold up. His boots are still here. Which means he's still here somewhere. No one paid attention to me whatsoever. Hopefully I relock that door and I'm not going to go back through it. Can't go through there. Uh, I can sit down. Don't think I should be doing that quite yet. I'm going to go see if I can break into anyone else's rooms. That seems like an interesting use of my time. And hopefully I can just keep finding uh, jelly all over the place. Nope. And nope. I have a feeling this game is going to be a whole lot longer than I expect it, than I expect it to be. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. You're right. For God's sakes, what happened in here? Um. What the f... Okay. Well... Apparently there's some sort of, um, worship service. A chest with a half circle pattern. Use the key. Okay, so there is a key somewhere. I just have to come in here at some other point. I'd rather not use my points quite yet. Because I have four left. I'm going to need them for some other punching a dude in the chest or something. I don't know. My dear Elizabeth. I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better. And, unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please, excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. Okay. So, uh, kids, if you're watching this, do not use any of this information that you get from this game on, like, a test for your history classes. No, just don't do it. I'm stuck on a, on a shelf or a drawer. Whatever it is. The hell? I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Consume the crystals? Okay. Well, let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. Ugh. I really need to stop tasting everything I find. Oh, you're not going to. The moment I get a chance. Oh, I'm ex oh. Shit. I don't eat the crystals, I'll tell you that. I had not use that again. God damn it. Alright, oh. A little flashy thing going on here. An old sesterce from Roman Gaul. Colonel Lightwater will give me a little reprieve. Okay. 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer matter to you. Father maintains the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again at long last. Right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. Okay. Where's your bed frame? You just have... Oh, never mind. I found it. I mean, look at that. Alright, well, this was interesting. You're definitely possessed, or 
something shitty. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna spend these. Uh, we're gonna spend these points. A chest with a half circle pattern. And I'll eat some jelly. Hey, look, more jelly. Oh, another amber. You collected four amber fragments. Your maximum effort points is increased by one. Oh, very nice. I need all those. Another hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. Oh. Can't do either one of these. We'll take notes and hold on to those for later. Mysterious notes. All right. Out we go. Whoever's got to go through that room and repaint it. Repaint it. It's gonna charge quite a bit of money to come over here. Now, um, where's where's George Washington's room? Have we been in here yet? Let no one disturb me. I'm busy. Too bad. We'll see him later. It's okay, George. I understand why you were suspicious. The other side of you is just writing on the walls all night. I can't blame you for uh, wanting to know what the hell's going on there. That's how I feel in my own apartment. Can't go in there. I'm not even gonna bother trying to read that. Can't go in there. We end up in Elizabeth's room, which was intriguing, I guess. Hold on. I meant to eat my jelly. God, I just don't like saying that anymore. Royal jelly is funny, but I'll show you royal jelly. <laughs> Oh, this game. This game is weird. It's unpredictable. Hello. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look. The only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. Uh, let's apologize first. I'm, I'm sorry. I should have stopped him from beating you. What's done is done. It was my fault, not yours. Don't say that. It's never the victim's fault. Look at your eye. How's she supposed to do that? My eye's nothing. Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Um, My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing, so I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. Uh, Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed, no. I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She's getting more and more agitated. All right. Take a look at that. And next you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait. There must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait. I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? Oh, no. There must be some reason for what she did. I forgot That's how to the do point this. Of rubbing salt in the wounds. Um. I want to find out what really happened. No. You really don't want to know what your mother did when I shed my first blood at puberty. On the contrary. You can tell me anything. Let me... Be my own judge. Oh, okay. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. 
the only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Imagine her father. Let's go with her sister. Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to... separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's come here for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Well, judging by what you did to his room, I would kill you too. Oh, Madam Cleavage. Where's she going? Follow her. That's not where dinner is, lady. Can I go in here? I cannot. All right, well, she's just off on her own then. I don't remember this guy. Uh, mask face. Mask man. Hello. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. I've already read that. He's already talked to me about all that anyway. Uh, there might be some stuff to steal still over here. As I just walk through and take everything. Nope, they don't replenish the royal jelly. <laughs> in fact, before we go in there, let's go ahead and royal jelly up. Butterfly. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richer, God. allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army, and Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? 
Oops, thank you again for the wine, oh, wow. Your Eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaget seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity, <laughs> typically French. <laughs> oh, 